Hey yo everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am here with another vlog video for you guys. We just kind of woke up. I have breastfed Imran and now Navy and I are getting ready to eat breakfast as well. I want to take you guys along with me for a few days in my life. I look exceptionally tired. I am not getting very much sleep. Imran is sleeping less, I feel like when she should be sleeping more. She tends to fall asleep during her feedings now, so she doesn't finish eating, therefore she wakes up a lot more, and I am exhausted. But I'm excited for this vlog video, which is sponsored by Teddy Blake. I hope you all enjoy it. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, so your girl is going out, and I got a new bag. Teddy Blake sent this to me, and I'm so excited to open it. I don't know if you guys remember, a couple years ago, I got this Teddy Blake bag, and I absolutely love it. I get a lot of compliments on it. Still in great condition, but this one is going to be quite different, much different than anything that I have already. So let's go ahead and open her up because I think she's going to be perfect. This box is huge. Holy crap. So these handbags are made in Italy and they are Italian leather. When I tell y'all I can see the handle and I'm already in love. I am already in love. I don't have anything in this color either. Oh my gosh. You guys, oh, she's stunning. Look how pretty she is. She's like a dark forest green. We have this little emblem here. This holds the straps together. There is a longer strap. There are two main big pockets and then a nice zipper pocket in the middle. Super simple, but stunning. They obviously have a bunch of different styles and colors, especially in this bag, there's a bunch of different colors, but I wanted to go with this dark green color. One, because I don't have any bag in this. I have a lot of like neutral purses, except for the blue one that I have here. I felt like this bag is already such a good summer bag. I definitely wanted a statement piece for like fall and winter time. And I think this color is perfect for that, but I am going to be carrying it tonight. I think this color goes with a lot of pieces. To me, it's almost like a black in the sense that it's a very versatile bag. I really, really like this. It smells like leather. It smells so freaking good. I'm gonna go ahead and pack my bag for tonight. I'm gonna be using this pouch in this bag. I have this exact one in my car. It is in my Amazon shop. I'm going to be taking a Tied to Go pen, some Tylenol, I'm gonna be drinking, so <laughs> I'm gonna make sure I have that on hand. Some dry eye relief, it isn't open yet. I haven't felt like I needed it, but the minute I don't carry this around is when I'm gonna need it. So we're just gonna always have it with us. Some hand lotion, lip gloss, extra contacts in case I rub my eye wrong and mine fall out. 108 degrees outside, so I'll be taking this no sweat wipe and pretty personal wipe. I got a whole pack of variety of these things also in my Amazon shop. Chapstick, mini size deodorant. This is in spiked eggnog. It's very fallish and I probably won't need this, but just in case for some reason, if the deodorant that I'm gonna be putting on doesn't work very well, then I will be putting this on top. And then in a separate mini pouch that I'm also going to put in here, I'm going to add this scope spray. A few of these Colgate wisps. These little flossers. Definitely gonna be taking some toilet spray just in case. Hand sanitizer. And just because you never know what can go on when drinking and having a good time, I'll be taking this little travel quick fix kit. My wallet will be going and so will gum. And I need to charge this for tonight, so I'm not gonna pack it right now, but I am gonna be taking my pumping stuff just in case I get too swollen and it's painful. I'm gonna need to release some of that pain, so I will be packing my pump kit in here. Another reason why I like these, because I don't have to be hooked up to a wall, it's literally just this. 
and I'll probably just take the one because you guys know I only have one charged at a time for some reason but easy to travel with super lightweight and again I don't have to be hooked up to anything I just put it on inside my bra or whatever I'm wearing and it pumps milk for me also be packing milk bags most part the bag is packed and ready to go thank you so much to teddy blake for sending this to me i'm going to shower and get myself ready So I'm gonna start using this now. I bought this for postpartum. It's for my C-section scar. And obviously I've had three C-sections, so I just wanna see how well this works. I can't really take a before picture for y'all of my C-section because it's quite low. It's like right near my vagina. So y'all will just have to take my word for it if it works or not. <laughs> I've shaved my incision area for like the past three days because I wanted to make sure that there was no hair. It says start off wearing for two to four hours, increasing wear time every two days until you feel comfortable wearing for 24 hours straight, even in the shower. Today, we're just gonna start by wearing it for two hours. Looks like this. I don't know why I thought it was gonna be purple, but it's just a tad bit longer than my scar. I took the covering off. I thought it was going to be more gel-like, but it's more sticky. I adhere to my skin really well. You can reuse these. So this is where I'm supposed to put it, like, after I wear it for a couple hours. I'm not sure how much we're supposed to use these. Because there's obviously more patches in here, but they're reusable. I'll just use it for, like, a couple days, and then I'll switch out. My scar doesn't really bother me at all, and it's not like it can really be seen unless you're down there. But I'm just curious to see if it works, like if it makes it a little bit less noticeable or gets rid of it altogether. I don't know. I think I want to wear this yellow dress today. I was thinking maybe this one, but I think it's a little short. It was long enough and then I washed it and I feel like it shrank a little bit. But maybe I'll test it out. But I don't know. I feel like the yellow would look so pretty with the green purse. So I'm going to try these on and see which one I want to wear today for my little self-date. I'm, I'm taking myself out again since Trevor's here. Might as well. general. I had the gel on them and so it's been 
a while because they don't really need to be done as much when you use a gel. But that paint is starting to come off. And I walk barefoot a lot, especially outside. So I always need my feet like scrubbed down. <laughs> I'm definitely a barefoot walker. I know you're not supposed to. They say if you want really soft feet, don't even walk barefoot in your house. And I'm always barefoot in my house. But I do frequently walk outside barefoot as well. I think I want to get my toes done. I think I want to go have lunch. I'm going to take a book with me. Or I may just like grab a snack and go, I haven't been to a bookstore in a while. I don't know. I don't really know what I want to do yet. <laughs> it's still kind of up in the air. I'm just going to play it as I go. Later today, I'm going to go to the gym. So got a new eye cream. I'm still waiting for it to be delivered. It's not here yet. Um, it's from the La Roche Posay line. I told y'all before, I don't feel like anything really works for my dark under eye circles. I just naturally have them and I feel like I've tried so many different things and nothing's really ever changed about them. But I'm still continuously looking for something to work. And I've really been loving the La Roche Posay line. So I ordered that eye cream. Just because I don't really wear makeup, I would like it if my under eyes weren't naturally dark. I could just look a little bit more awake, you know? I'm not wearing concealer or something and people are like, are you tired? Are you okay? Is everything all right? I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. This is just my natural face, but thank you anyway. <laughs> Way to bring a girl down. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I'll start with my hair down and then I will get too hot. What's the temperature today? I think it's like 107 today. So I'll just bring a hair tie. I don't know how I want to wear it down. That middle part is not down the middle at all. It's off. it's off to the left. That's great. I'm gonna put on some concealer and some mascara. And that's gonna be it for my look. Oh, and of course, chapstick. You guys know that I'm on chapstick. Although, no, I'm gonna use the lip gloss, actually. I put in my purse. I haven't worn it in a while. I'm coming, Emmy. She's ready to eat. Mommy. You're cleaning? Yeah. You know that is used to put butt paste on your sister? No. So you're cleaning with something that goes on her butt. Yeah, exactly my thoughts. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna roll with. Um, just... And I will take... Maybe it is. That's not forever now. And I'll take a hair tie, but this is what we're gonna go with. And I'm just gonna wear like simple sandals. Then I have the purse. Yeah, I think the green with the yellow looks so freaking pretty. And with my eyes, because my eyes are green, I'm loving this. Oh, I almost forgot eye spray. So I'm going to be using the Brazilian Crush 68. Super summery. And this is the lotion I used as well. My daughter obviously messed with the brush of this. It has just like a really nice soft pink tint to it. It just brings out the natural color of the lips a little. Okay, now I'm just waiting for Trevor to get here. Let me pack this so I can respray. And I'll be good to go. Girl, you are stunning, you are beautiful, you are strong, you are magnetic. Yes, ma'am. Mm-hmm. 
So this is actually the book I'll be taking the summer I turned pretty. I started watching this show on Amazon and I have to say y'all, I'm obsessed. Do y'all watch it? If you do, tell me, are you team Conrad or team Jeremiah? And if y'all say anything other than team Jeremiah besties, we're going to have to reconsider our friendships because I am team Jeremiah all the freaking way. I'm pretty much in love with him. So I went to my uncle's house for the pool party and saw my cousin had this book and I was like, can I borrow this? And I've heard in the third book, Jeremiah becomes unlikable. I'm saying at this point, I'm okay if the show doesn't match the books completely because that man can do no wrong in my eyes. He is everything that I need in a man. When people say they're Team Conrad, I'm really, I'm questioning what it is y'all like about that man. Red flags, red tints, all the way for him. Jeremiah is a green tint. He is a green mansion. Anyway, let's go. I've changed clothes obviously I'm dressed for the gym just got this pizza planet shirt on from Walmart and then my leggings are from navigation this is what I'm wearing I'm debating if I want to wear my Vans or my Converse I'm learning to love my hip dips I used to really hate them but I'm starting to think that they're kind of sexy I'm gonna feed Imran get my pre-workout ready and then I'm gonna head out to the gym this is the pre-workout I'm gonna be taking I love the blue slush I think I mentioned that in like a previous video I feel like I had only had it in the energy drink though I'm not sure if I've bought the pre-workout of this or not I don't know either way I love it as you can hear there's stuff in the dryer already but this is everything that I need to get washed so i am so behind on laundry it's not even funny what i'm gonna do is kind of separate stuff like the towels and sheets i have kale's bedding because his needs to be washed since he rides his bike to and from school every day he sweats a lot and he does shower at night before he goes to bed but because he likes to play on his bed he gets sweat on it and despite the amount of times i told him to please don't do that because it physically grosses me out he still does it so i just wash his bedding more frequently now i went in there the other day and i felt like it was stinking a little bit so <laughs> I'm gonna do his bedding in the washer first because it's the biggest piece and it will take the longest to wash and dry. I finished separating, here's white. Here's all our towels and bath mats. Here's all our darks, our light colored items, and then just like towels in general. Huh? Oh, that's so pretty. You can't color? Oh. Oh, they're letters? Nice job. I couldn't fit Kale's. Why is this having such a hard time focusing? What is going on? I realized I was filming in cinematic mode and that's why stuff kept getting blurry. Um, I couldn't fit Kale's blanket in with his bedding. So I will probably do that last because that's not as big of a concern with me as everything else. So after the bedding, I'm gonna do these because the bath mats here take a long time to dry as well. And I'm gonna move on to the darks. So I feel like bedding and towels should go first at least. All right, Karen, do your thing. change 
my clothes because I fed Imran and she, oh, that's hot. Ooh. She spit up all over me. So I was trying to look cute for my parents and stuff tonight, but oh, that's hot. realize there was water in that. I can't do the silverware or the pot just yet. She's also naked because she got spit up all over herself too, aren't you? Yes, yes you are. I need to give you a bath today. I wasn't planning on it, but you spit up a lot in your neck. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You ready to do some dishes? You ready to do some dishes? gonna clean this stove and kitchen really quick and then I'll feed you from the other side okay After I get all the soap out, I just go in with a damp cloth to wipe it. I mean, there's no residue. Kale's gonna probably be home here in a few minutes. The bath mats are still a little damp, so I'm gonna dry them separately. A little bit longer. I'm gonna finish the kitchen first before I fold laundry. And since Karen's done, I'm going to take off all the bar stools and chairs so I can clean all the surfaces. And then I'm going to put them back up because I'm going to run Karen one more time 
before my family gets here. I get the table all cleaned off for dinner, but it's also game night tonight. So I think we're gonna either play Sorry or Yahtzee. Doing all the bright colors now. Okay, house is picked up. I just have this load of laundry left to do. I'm going to run Karen again. And then right before they get here, I'm going to spray the rest of this. There's not much left, but it's the Febreze Light Air Sea Spray. I'm gonna spray this in the house and it will smell and be all good to go for dinner and game night tonight. Navy wants to have her school time, so that's what we're about to do. And just kind of hang out with the kids until they get here. I will see y'all tomorrow. It's the next day and I have some packages because I'm doing something you guys and I'm excited to show y'all. My eye cream came in today too. Okay, obviously that noise is in my screen in the background. So I bought some stuff here. All this will be linked down in my Amazon shop. But I got this stuff because I wanna start taking like my savings seriously. I've never really done that in the past. And obviously that's my fault, but I kind of just always relied on Trevor as far as our finances go and him kind of being in charge of all of that. But now it's just me and the kids and there's things that I want to do for them and with them. And I obviously want to be financially stable on my own. So I got this little binder. I ended up going with the A6. Got these little cash envelopes here. Now, most of my stuff is on auto pay, so I won't be doing a lot of cash stuffing. This is mostly just for the savings challenges. And once I complete each savings challenge, I'm going to deposit it into the high yield savings account that I just started. I was doing some research and found out that high yield savings account is definitely the way to go because the interest rate 
is much higher, so my money's gonna grow more there. I created the savings challenge bundle. It is in my Etsy shop if you would like to purchase it. My Etsy link will be also in the description box down below. But I have different saving challenges. This one I'm gonna be working on, it's probably gonna take me a while, but the goal is to save $10,100. And this I'm basically going to be using to purchase the kids and I a home. I want to be able to buy us a house. We had owned a home and then we went to renting because of Trevor being in the military and now we're back in Texas because of everything that's happened. And I'm still renting, but I want to buy me and the kids a house. So that's what that one's for. And then I have, I also made the 52 week saving challenge, $5 savings challenge. And then I created some smaller ones like this 30 day challenge, $200, $10 challenge, which saves $300. Now this does say a 30 day challenge. I would like to be able to save $200 or more a month. That is my goal that I set for myself. If you want to purchase this and you don't finish this in 30 days, that's completely understandable. Whether I'll be able to do this or not is kind of up in the air, but I'm going to try to do that on top of some of the other challenges. And then I also created this mini emergency fund challenge. Definitely need to start working on this. And this is just a kind of basic savings challenge. What I'm going to be doing is coloring in the boxes as I save it. So I'm gonna just start with 10s and then I'll go into 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s. That's over a thousand dollars saved. I created this checking account buffer. So I'm gonna save this amount, which is $1,575. And basically once I save this, I'm going to put it into my checking account and I never want my checking account to go under this number. Now I plan to do this a couple times. And so that way I'm like never under, let's say $4,000 or whatever, unless I really have to. But the goal is to always keep the checking account above a certain number, just in case, on top of having the emergency fund. You know what I'm saying? The days of being at like $5 or less are gonna be over for me. So, and here is the 100 envelope challenge, which is pretty popular. This one says 5,050. I got these to do that challenge as well. No spend months. I wanna kinda get my spending habit in check. I feel like I eat out a lot less. I don't order Uber as much, so I've done really good on that. Uber has really been kind of my downfall or just getting food delivery in general, DoorDash, whatever, because I obviously get very tired and exhausted and I don't like to cook a lot of the time. I've been cooking more though. I've kind of just stepped it up in that department. As far as the no spending goes, I'm doing okay in there. And then I have the savings tracker, which I kind of need to print a few more times because I'm going to put the name of what each savings is for and then how well I'm doing. But I designed this and I put it in my Etsy shop if you would like to download it. It can be digital. Use this in like an iPad or a tablet, whatever, your phone. But I like to print things because I like to physically write on them. And you can laminate these. That way you can just reuse the same pages or once you download it from my shop, it's yours forever. So you can print it as much as you want. Now for me personally, I think I want to start off with a couple big ones and then one small one. I think the first ones I'm gonna focus on are the mini emergency fund, the 30 day challenge. I wanna start with the big savings challenge and the 100 envelope challenge. Now, like I said, the big savings challenge that I have on here is going to be for a house. And then the emergency fund is simply for emergency funds. So the 52 week challenge I plan to use for my future. Um, just myself, each year I'll be saving $1,378 specifically for me. The checking account is again, simply for the checking account. This savings challenge I would love to use for vacations, whether it be family vacations or vacations for myself, I can do this several times a year, it's $1,050 saved. Obviously traveling with kids is extremely expensive, but I wanna travel the world with them. So that's what I plan on using this savings challenge guide for. Once I've achieved the down payment for the house, I definitely wanna use this to separate between all three kids and also myself. The 100 envelope challenge, I would also like to split between all three kids. I wanna make sure I create a buffer for them. I never wanna stop putting into them. So however long I do this, which I plan to do it until I die basically, is gonna go to all three of my kids. $10 challenge, this kind of 30 day challenge. 
and five dollars challenge miscellaneous things so holidays birthdays um fun adventures for the kids and i maybe there's something that we just really want or something that i really want but i can't get it right away because it costs quite a bit of money that's what these challenges are going to be for so that's kind of my plan as of right now it may change but starting off that's kind of what i'm going for so i'm going to kind of put numbers on this three row one and this is going to be for the hundred envelope challenge and then the rest of these envelopes are going to be for the other challenges i plan on starting this challenge september 1st and by this challenge i mean kind of all of them I'm trying to get my finances in a row before then. That way I can just kind of set myself up for success. But like I said, I've started a high yield savings account. I'm gonna start a few more different types of different types of savings for me and the kids. But I obviously want to make sure that my money is growing at the fastest rate possible. So that's why I went with a high yield savings account because like I said, the interest rate is higher than it would be through my regular bank and i don't want to put too much pressure on myself obviously i want to go at a rate that is going to be successful i can't put all my money into savings and then not be able to kind of live through day-to-day -day life so as important as i feel like it is to save for my future i also want to be able to live with my kids and stuff in the present so I might start an envelope for day-to-day -day things. They say you wanna have like three months of expenses in your emergency fund should something happen and you can't work for like that amount of time. I think it's three months. It might be six months, I don't know. My goal is to have a year's worth of expenses eventually of just emergency funds. But I don't want to spend so much time saving for the emergency fund does that make sense which is why i just kind of did a mini version of it that you can definitely do what floats your boat i did pick up these budget sheets to put in the regular envelopes front or behind of the cash that way i can kind of keep track of what the balance is do i get too big no that's actually perfect I, so it was on two inches and i ended up going with an inch and a half and i'm glad i went down to the inch and a half on the numbers and letters. I think this will be perfect for the size that I got. I just started kind of picking back up my Etsy shop again. I have a few things on there already, but I want to kind of pick up Uber Eats again, I think, and just do it a couple times a week. Obviously, I have my main job, which is YouTube. I'm trying to pick myself back up on TikTok and Etsy shop. I'm looking into like seasonal at-home jobs as well at the moment. I don't want to overwork myself, obviously. But I also feel like I'm kind of starting behind because I'm already 31 and... You know, I have three kids, so I feel like I have a lot of time to make up as far as my savings go. <laughs> it wasn't something ever really taught to me. I wish they taught it in school, but I also want to take this and kind of use it as a teaching mechanism for my son currently. Obviously all my kids, but the younger two probably won't understand it. But I hope in doing this, I can kind of get Kale involved as well. And maybe he can print off some of the challenges and start saving his money, like birthday money or whatever. Kale already has a bank account that we've been putting money into for our savings. As he grows up, he can start saving money. I wish I would have started saving money as soon as I started getting it <laughs> as a young, young child. Had I known life was going to be like this. I definitely would have started saving as early as possible. But I want to make this exciting and I want to make it fun and maybe Kale and I can do it together and he can start building for his future. I'm loving these stickers. I'm so pleased with these. I have finished. I've decided I'm going to get one more of these in a different color just because I don't want this one to get too bulky once I start putting cash in. 
And the other one's gonna be for the smaller savings. So in this pink one, I have my big savings packet for the big savings challenge. Again, that's for $10,100. And I also put emergency fund. And even though my challenge is only a mini emergency fund, I'm gonna be doing this routinely. That's why I considered it a bigger savings challenge. <laughs> let's say after i've done this three times then i will transfer it into a savings account and then i'll just keep on going and then i have the space for the 100 envelope challenge i fixed all the ones that were not centered so now it's all nicely put in there it's one through 100 obviously but yeah this is going to be my bigger savings binder and then i'm going to get another one for like the, uh, I haven't finished writing the envelopes yet, but Imran's awake now, so I'm gonna have to tend to her. But this is gonna say 10's challenge. This one's gonna say a five's challenge. I need to make one for the 30 day challenge. And then I wrote one that said kids savings. Because it's under $5,000 of a challenge, I'm considering it smaller, even though it's above a thousand for the kids. I need to do one that says checking account buffer. And the other binder will also have the 52 week challenge. I'll get like turquoise or something, but I'm really excited to start this September 1st. I'm gonna go to the bank, pull out some cash, and I'm gonna work my best to prepare for mine and my family's future. Again, you can get all this in my Amazon shop, and then these sheets are in my Etsy shop. I was actually thinking I could actually make these binders for people and sell them and I could pair it with like a matching calculator, maybe matching markers or highlighters to fill in the boxes, some pens or something. Cause I have these and I didn't put them in yet, but I'll put them in the envelopes once I start, you know, filling them up and whatnot. And I could add those to the box. I don't know. I don't know how many people would buy it. And obviously it takes a lot of time for me to make them, but I would consider making these little budget binders and creating like a kit and selling it. I used to make cash envelopes a long time ago and I actually did sell them, but I made them from like craft paper and I laminated them into different sizes for people and I would do whole sets like that and I used to sell those and I kind of stopped doing it, but I wouldn't mind getting back into it in this form of creating binders and stuff. Please let me know if that's something you think I should do. That's going to be it for this video, you guys. I'm gonna get a binder, I think, or a folder of some sort for these sheets as well. You could print them smaller to fit in the binder, but I prefer to have it big like this. It's going to be it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed this vlog. Have an amazing weekend ahead of you, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Say bye-bye, Emmy. Say bye-bye. She's like, I'm just waking up. Oh. No. We're going back to sleep, and I'm bothering her. Okay, bye, guys.